Hi guys, I'm Tara. And this is Dre. And we Tara and Dre, obviously. Um, this video was gonna be based on our labor slash birth experience. And that was crazy. So we gave well I had we had a micro preemie. She was one pound and fourteen ounces. So oh man, let's go back to that day. What February twenty third? February twenty third was the day. Right, so basically, boom, I came into her house around like, I said like four or five. I think it was four, right? I think so. Four, yeah, four or five. I, what I was doing what I was doing. I, I was drunk too, so. So yeah, yeah, I was drunk, right? So I, I get up in the house, I get up in the crib. You know what I mean? I'm chilling, regular stuff. And so, you know, I go upstairs. I see it's her. She all cranky, but at the same time, I'm happy because I told her I was about to bring her home a chopped cheese. So Y'all, like, I was looking forward for that chopped cheese. I heard him coming up the steps, and I heard mad bags ruffling, so I was like... <gasps> so as soon as I walked through the door, she seen me, she seen the bags, but she noticed it was like the bags wasn't heavy. It was fake light. So she it was like, just chips. He he brought up bags of chips. So so I was like, wrong with you asking that? So you know me, I'm, I'm drunk. So I'm like, what? Like, what are you talking about asking that? So later on through that night, you hear just a, a, a like a mmm, like a mmm, mmm. So I'm looking like, what the? What's wrong with you? I think she coming. So y'all, um, I didn't know what was going on. I just, um, I just know that I was in pain and felt like menstrual cramps. Um, I was only six months. I was 25 weeks. So I was just a little scared, nervous. I just was feeling cramps. And like I said, it felt mm -hmm. like menstrual cramps. And, you know, at first I was getting pains for a while. And I thought maybe it's just, you know, my uterus stretching. But that day, they was getting like, you know, that was menstrual cramps. My menstrual cramps are bad. Like they say that contractions is like, you know, menstrual cramps times 10. But for me, it was regular. It was just menstrual cramps. So if you have bad cramps, you can take it. But I'm like, oh, like I haven't had cramps in a while. So I'm like, oh, and they come in every four minutes. I started tracking it just to like, you know, because I didn't know what was going on. I, I honestly thought I was probably miscarrying. You know, I'm only six months. I didn't think, you know, that she was coming. So. Oh, no, she was coming. All right. <laughs> so I went to the bathroom. No, I, I had asked him because I felt like liquid or something. And I thought I was bleeding. Like I said, I thought I was miscarrying. I told him to check. I was like, can you check? So I couldn't see. I had a little bump. I couldn't I look. It was clear. She and was clear liquid. Some of it was yellow, so I'm looking like, oh. He, he said that um it was no blood. He told me to take off my shorts. I look at my shorts, whatever, whatever. Then I had to pee. We went. I went to the bathroom, and as I went to the bathroom, I peed, and then I just started seeing liquid drop down. Oh yeah, after after that, oh my. That's my cool that's, that's what shit got real. Shh. Oh um, that's what stuff got real. So yeah. You could curse. Oh, I could curse. I asked when you know that got real. So yeah. After that, you know, I told her, like, all right, we're going to wait it out. We're going to wait no, it out. No, he was like, what you want to do? I, at first, yeah, I was like that, but first, we was just like, all right, we're going to see, and then we're going to wait it out. After we waited it out, it really got bad because I stayed up with her after that. I definitely went to sleep. I told him to go to sleep. Boy. I ain't going to front. Yeah, I had to go to he sleep. He was tired. So I, was I told so him tired. go to sleep. Like, just go to sleep, boy. You she know? said, she said, go to sleep. So I was just like, I'm fighting it off. You know what I mean? I'm just like, nah. Now I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. I thought my ass went to sleep. I said it was over. So yeah, after that, she started calling her mother around I like had, six. I had told my mother, like, my mom had went to the bathroom. I didn't want to wake her up because <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. I was just trying to stay calm. You know, I didn't want to make it seem, like, I didn't want me to drag it, basically. You know, I didn't want to kind of make it into existence, even though it was already happening. I didn't want to, you know, I thought maybe I'm just having a little breakfast. I don't know. I was only six months. I thought I was miscarrying. I don't know. I was just trying to just wait and see what happens. You know, sometimes you just got to breathe and just relax. So my mother I was gushing. She said, okay, like, I think my mother knew I was in labor, but she didn't want to scare me. So she was like, just put a pad on, just track, whatever, whatever, and we'll call the doctor first thing mother, in the morning. Her mother knew that she was in labor, just that she just wanted to scare me. Like she said, like, her mother, was, her mother looked at her like this, like, you wasn't even there. What are you talking I about? I said that whole <laughs> shit. I heard everything. I may, I, I may not see it, but I, I heard everything. And I could just tell her face. I know your mother's face when she just... She just... You know so, what I'm saying? So, um, so... Oh, I thought I was about to sneeze. Take your time. <laughs> Take your time. So, um... Yeah, I had told my mother, and she told me put a pad on because I told her I was gushing. She said, we'll call your doctor first thing in the morning. So... Mm. 
um i was talking to her i was like oh my god please not right now like i said i didn't know if i was in labor i didn't know if i was miscarrying i didn't know what was going on i just knew i was in pain that's all i knew i'm six months pregnant that's all those are the only things i knew i'm six months pregnant and i'm in pain that's it so um yeah i'm talking to her. i'm like not right now mama you can't come right now it's too early it's too early i'm scared y'all i don't know what the fuck is going on um Hold on, my fault to cut you off. Y'all probably wondering why my eyes is like this. The reason why my eyes is like this, my eyes been like this since I was a kid. Y'all see how yellow my shit is? Nobody cares. I'm just trying, I'm just trying to so, make sure. Mm. So, like I was saying, I'm talking to her. I'm like, no, not right now, right now. He's sleeping, whatever. He starts, like, you know, he's rubbing me. And he's like, mm. don't so make no good. face at me. So, so he's rubbing on me and stuff. And um, I was just, mm, you know, I'm just trying to deal with it. I'm bending over. I'm doing this i'm doing that next thing you know i fall asleep I, I had to lay on him i don't know what it is about him that made me fall asleep but i got on his arm and <sighs> so then i guess i'm like two hours later and i'm like nah this shit's still going on and mind you like i said before i went to sleep them two hours it was every four minutes so i told i woke him up i'm like yo i ain't gonna lie i think we gotta go he like what what <laughs> what <laughs> and you know you got the like you got the rails dumb looking face after you you was just coming outside you know having fun doing this so now you you only got two hours of sleep i think right because i came in at four oh well, yeah you know I mean? after you just having fun and stuff like that I came i basically had like two hours of sleep woke up she That's in my ear saying all eyes and that and i'm 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 like Shh. this look how like all right come on man Grab my clothes and everything. Grab my ID and all that. So, boom, we get in the car. We on our way there. As we on our way, I thought she was about to have a baby in the car. I ain't gonna front. Because how the way she was sounding, she was just holding her stomach. She's like, mm, mm, And I'm looking at her nose. Her nose is getting bigger. Like, like see how my nose is big? Her shit was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. You're so, it, y'all. Nah, 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 I'm dead ass, y'all. This is my first time experience. So, I, I wasn't, let me say, I'm really up now. It's like 7 o'clock now. So, boom, we get there. It was 8. It was eight. Yes. All right. So when we get the, the um, I ate something. What are the wheelchair people, right? Oh, you in labor? Yeah. Nigga. Like, Shh, no, he yes. didn't figure it out. He just said, "Do you need a wheelchair?" And I was like, "Yeah." yeah. And the, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That was the worst mistake of my life. Oh, I didn't even tell you. I called my doctor, and when I was calling my doctor, the contraction was a minute apart. A minute apart, y'all. I was like, <gasps> first of all, when I had got up, the cramps had gotten worse. The contractions had gotten worse from when they started. <clears throat> Mind you, my pain tolerance is high because my contractions felt like regular cramps to me. Some women can't even deal with that, which is why they get the epidural. Not knocking nobody because, you know, some people's pain tolerance is just not as high. Mine is high. I've been dealing with these cramps for a while, so I was able to, you know, deal with it. But if I wasn't dealing with these cramps, I would have definitely got that right then and there. But, um... Yeah, so he told me to come in to labor and delivery. So my mom was like, all right, let me hurry up, take a quick shower, whatever, whatever. I told Andre, we getting dressed. Um, and at the time, it's still COVID, so, like, all three of us can go up there. So at the time when it came we get down to the, to the hospital. front desk, yeah, with the front desk, they was like, so who's going upstairs? And I'm looking at her mother like, her mother looking at me like, I was like, I don't care. Just give me your stairs. Like, I don't care. Just give me your stairs. So, <laughs> like, I didn't care. I was in I so can't. much pain, y'all. I didn't even, I didn't want to <laughs> pick, you know? Those are two people I love. I don't, I didn't want to pick between my mother and my boyfriend. Nobody, I think that's like a, the hardest decision. I didn't even really make a decision, honestly. They just picked for me, honestly. They were just like, you the husband? I remember my mom was like, yeah. And she just let him go. And my baby is, what, two months now and still hasn't met her grandparents. Hmm. That's, that's the the part about COVID. Um, the experience though of seeing like childbirth is beautiful, but I was expecting more. Like you get what I'm saying? I was like like how the movies be dragging it more bloody, more 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 gushy. Like I was not full term. I know, but my baby she just slid right out. I, like, you know what I'm saying? When she he says he expected right more, that shit gets me mad because y'all, he don't even know what the fuck I went through, okay? I what don't. I'm still going through because I'm don't. still dealing with postpartum, so. All right, relax. Relax. I don't, but at the same time, you know, I'm over here guiding her. She, I'm holding her leg up like, uh, and she like, uh, 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 and the doctor, y'all, the doctor boy... saying, like, like, give a big push like you taking a big poop eyes and that. So I'm looking at him like, fuck you mean? That's so, all. Actually, you know, she just. Whoop! 
I said, oh, he caught it all. How do I, he caught it, he caught it like, I, he did some like, yo. some shit like that. I'm not even trying to be funny. I'm on, I'm on some dead ass shit like, boy, did some shit like, almost dropped my damn kid. But after that, yeah, you know, the fam, I was on FT with my, um, my mom's and stuff. Y'all, this boy my, was supposed I to call me down. He called his family to calm him down. I, I was, like, I was fake nervous. I ain't know But his family happen. called me down too. His mother so, had called me down. My mother, she over here wilding me. Audrey, you better not be over here having a panic attack in front of all these damn white people eyes and that. So I'm like, mom, ain't none of that. I'm just gay eyes and that. Audrey, shut, shut, shut. You know, she shut, she tells me to shut up eyes and that. Let me look at Tyra. So she looking at Tyra, huh? Tyra talking. And she like, breathe, Tyra, breathe. Tyra like, ooh. Who, who, who? Then you know she when, was there, y'all. She was there. Her, she was there. Head her head was, was right, right there. there. That's right there. The doctor said you want to see. I said yeah. I look. She was right there, y'all. It's she not a pretty sight, there. but it's a beautiful thing. I say that. She was right there. Like I was like, they was like, yeah, I'm trying to take a poop. I'm put my legs up. I'm like, mm. they like no noise, no noise. Oh, no. Yeah, I ain't know what I was doing. I'm like. Mm. They like no noise, no noise. They like try to act like you're trying to take poop. I'm I'm acting like I'm trying to take poop, but it's it's I, I don't even know, y'all. So next thing you know, I start pushing, I start pushing, I start pushing, and I think she came in within like four pushes. I think she came like four pushes. Um all I know is we got to the hospital at like nine something. She was here at eleven thirty one. Eleven thirty one, February twenty third. Um, we went into the room they was they you know i went in there this is before we we doing shit back. When we first got there they questioned me on andre whatever whatever um then they take me to i guess the operation room since they didn't have um delivery rooms available i don't know they packed or whatever so the doctors come they're talking and talking and talking they not they speaking in a doctor language i don't know what the fuck they talking about they just i'm like Andre had called his mom. His mom was like, I, no, what do you mean Tyra's in labor? She can't be in labor. She can't be in labor. You're yeah, looking at me. No, I'm looking like a hot ass mess. So, I'm like I like... was saying. Um, you know what? This is the shit I'm talking like about. Like I was saying. She, um, they, they, t then finally my doctor had <laughs> came. The one who I was on the phone with. He said, how are you doing? Whatever. I'm like, I'm like, good. Once he told me my water broke, y'all, I just started crying and shaking. And Andre's like, relax, relax. I couldn't relax. I couldn't stop shaking. It wasn't even really me. Like, I, I'm scared, y'all. I'm 25 weeks. I had 15 weeks for my baby to grow, to develop. There's so many things that was underdeveloped. Her brain was underdeveloped. Her lungs were underdeveloped. Her everything. She didn't even have nipples. Like, it was like a lot that she still needed to, you know, develop. What? what now you want to talk? Oh, now, now I can talk. Okay. Now you can talk. Now I can talk. Okay. Now you can talk. So, yeah, y'all. I just, I, I'm just saying, it's this whole experience, this whole fatherhood experience, it's like, it's a good thing, but at the same time, don't have kids if you're not right. You know what I'm saying? Because I was not, I was not prepared for that. That that moment right there, childbirth, man, my mom's had 10 kids, so it's like, she blessed. But this one right here, I don't know how she do it. That's some tough shit. What? You without... What, what's that shit called? The epidural? Epidural. epidural. <laughs> Whatever that shit called. But yeah. She's tough. It's like... She a powerful woman for that. I give it to her for that. But um, yeah, I'm just... You know, I just want to say like... I'm having my daughters here. She's well. She's healthy. You know what I mean? We still... You know, we still got a great relationship. We still got a like... I mean, we're a little rocky, but... Rocky where? We be having a little arguments and stuff like that. We you know we take you up time. You know? Yeah, I'll be that, breaking you up. Don't do that. Don't uh, even. Don't even. We not even, 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 even finna do that. Yeah, yeah, we, we not. We not. We not. Because you know, like, you, this camera is like. Boop. No, don't, just, don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, you front for the camera. Like I don't be I'm breaking you up. Know. Just let me know what. I'm just, just letting you know. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so yeah, guys. Um, our baby was born. She was one pound and fourteen ounces. And she was 12 and a half inches, which is kind of long for, you know, a six-monther. And she was kind of big, too, because she was supposed to be, like, one pound and eight ounces. Like, so she was damn near two pounds. So, you know, that's that's a blessing. She did lose weight, you know, after all babies lose weight once they're born. Um, uh, uh. It, it, was, it was a lot. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It was a lot. The first couple of days of her life were the scariest because... I didn't have no faith in my baby, y'all. I ain't have no faith in my baby. When I had her, I was just like, 
I, I, I didn't even know what to think. That shit said how small she was. I say she could fit in a palm. She could fit in your hand, literally. Like, like she was like. She was big. literally like a doll, baby. Like, like a doll. Big. Like when yeah. I pushed her, I was like, she's so little. Like I couldn't. Even, I couldn't even. I still believe remember. It. She's so little. She's so little. I couldn't even believe it, y'all. When I tell y'all, this little girl came out. And she was like this. I was just like, oh my god, it's crazy because you know nobody, nobody is prepared for nothing like this. We were barely prepared at home. We had one box of diapers, y'all, and. One and we had bought a crib. That's it for when she was older. We didn't have no bassinet. We didn't have a car seat. We didn't have a stroller. We was not prepared at all because you know we but would, now, we needed to have a baby shower. Now I ain't gonna lie. I ain't we gonna have, lie. Now we, hmm, daddy yo and daddy and mommy have just stepped up some shit. Like. We 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 done did what we had to do for our baby. We couldn't have no baby shower. No maternity shoot. Which I ain't gonna lie. I'm a Your little upset about. Shut stink. up. <laughs> Which I'm a little upset about, but you know we made we we making it happen for our baby and our six month barbecue. <clears throat> oh baby, you know we coming through. You yeah, know we shit for that. You day. know we shit for that. But yeah, yeah. Um, that was basically labor slash birth experience. My labor was crazy. It was quick. It was crazy. Um, the birth was was crazy too. The birth was beautiful. I don't know what she talking about. Crazy shit was beautiful. Yeah, because you wasn't the one pushing. You're right. You was absolutely right. Um, I didn't shit myself, y'all. Yeah, that was surprising, too. I heard about that, <laughs> too. Up, hold on, hold on, hold on. I heard about that, too, because they said most women, they, they shit on themselves while they having a baby, and everybody I knew that had a baby, they said, hell yeah, I shit it. But with her, that was surprising. I didn't see no shit. But no I, be shit. I barely... Okay, anyways, that's not your business. But anyways... You shit it? No, I didn't. Oh. I could have he, he you, was you, there. You fought it though. You did. You didn't hear that shit. It was either you or Ava. I don't know, but one of y'all fought it though, for real. I think it was me. At the anyways, time. y'all. Anyways, y'all. It was a blessing because before I had gave, you know, before I was giving birth, I had a lot of people in my face, like a lot of people, so many doctors, probably like. It was probably like 20 doctors in the room, no lie. And there was so many people calling. It was to the point that she didn't want to talk to nobody. So it was like I'm over here on the phone with her com with her um with her friends and stuff. They call out, is she okay? Is she I'm like, huh? And then she like, I don't want to talk to nobody right now. I don't want to talk to nobody right now. I'm just like, all right, I got I was she. in labor? Yeah, you was in labor. So of you course I didn't want to talk to nobody. Nobody knew I was in labor but my mother. And Destiny. And um no, I told I told I texted Destiny when she was here already. Anyways, y'all, um, he made me, he always cut me off at the wrong time. Like, I don't even remember what I was saying. Um. You be catching a little temper tantrum. Like, what's that? Um, damn, y'all, I forgot what I was saying. Okay, I remember what I was saying now. So, yeah, she, um, it was so many people in my face. It was, like, 20 doctors in the room, like, probably, like, four, like, probably, like, 16, working, like, ready to work on Ava. That's our daughter's name, by the way, Ava Marie West. Um. It was like 16 doctors working on Ava and then it was like four doctors ready to deliver her. So if that makes sense, you know, people that were going to take care of her, make sure she was stable, you know, for the NICU, whatever, whatever. Um, and then four doctors helping me deliver my baby. Um, I mean, deliver her. Um, it was a lot going on. I'm getting tested for COVID. <laughs> I'm getting tested for COVID. I'm contracting. They telling me to push. Then it's another doctor right here telling me like, oh, your baby, the chance of your baby survival is 60 to 70%. I believe he said 60 to 70%. 60 to 70% is kind of high, but there's still a, that 30 or that 40% that she could not have made it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I was, I was scared. I was like, okay, 60 to 70 is not that bad, but she's still... It's still a possibility that she won't make it. So I was like, I was a little eased about that, but I was still scared at the same time because, like I said, she came very early. The reason they think she may have came early was because of COVID. I didn't know if she had COVID. Like, it was just a lot to think about and to take in. But I'm just grateful that she's here. We're not lucky. We're blessed because shit could have really went left, like really went left. I'm just grateful that she's here, she's healthy, she's stable, and she should be home very soon. Thanks for watching this video, y'all. I want y'all to like and subscribe, you feel me? So Team Tyron Dre, we is out. Love y'all.